Hey everybody, it's too cold to ride today, so instead I'm going to try to install the Backflip MX4 folding tonneau cover on my wife's 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. So stick around, let's see what happens. So thanks for sticking around. For those of you new to my channel, please consider hitting subscribe and helping me grow it. I'd really appreciate that very much. For all of you returning viewers, thanks for stopping back by. So today we're going to try to install this tonneau cover. Uh, it's been sitting in my garage for quite some time. So here it is in the crate. Uh, you can see it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good size. It's not too heavy. Uh, one guy can drag it around. We'll see once we try to put it up in the truck with my bad arm, but we'll check it out. And here's the, here's the tag on the product. So let's open it up, see what's inside. It's always a good idea to inventory your parts. I've done that and it looks like I've pretty much got everything on the list. And I know that sometimes we're not always keen on following the instructions, but in this case, I think it's a pretty good idea. So after you've inventoried your parts, uh, go ahead and uh, read through those instructions because there are some variables in there that depend on certain configurations of your truck bed. So uh, pay attention to that so you don't get halfway through and go, uh-oh. Okay, my particular application has up here at the uh, bulkhead, there are two holes and mine has a hexagon type hole on the top and a regular hole on the bottom. So they're, they're not threaded. So you need to put what they call a, a jack bolt in there. It's like a toggle bolt. And so that goes right in there. And then they give you this little tool that helps you hold that while you screw this in. Now what happens is that jack bolt just kind of pinches up inside and it gives you something good to bite into there with the bolt. So uh, so you need to do that. It gets everything snugged up so you have a, a nice uh, threaded insert there. And then you take the bolt out because you're going to be using that later to attach. Okay, now that we have the jack bolts in, next thing I'm going to do is put this weather stripping along the bulkhead all the way across. I'm going to rub it down first with some um, alcohol just to make sure it's nice and clean. And we'll run that right to the edge of of each, each side. So got the X-Acto knife to trim it off. So we're gonna wipe that down. Then we peel the backing off here, lay it down on top of the bulkhead, and then trim it to size. The corners the edge is really good. This is not in the instructions, but this little piece, you'll see there's kind of some grooves around here. Uh, this needs to be cut. I used a very sharp X-Acto knife. It was not too difficult. And behind this, once you cut this piece out, it exposes two holes with nuts that are welded to the back side. And that's where the, uh, the rail is mounted. So that will need to be removed. We're going to show you how to do the right hand side and you'll just basically do the same thing on the left. So basically this is the, uh, the right hand rail, this is the forward end and we've got to put this together and we're going to just get this ready. This serves as a pilot to actually guide this piece to the bulkhead. So as you recall we had the jack nuts on the, in the top hole, this is going to go in the bottom hole. So what we do is we put the oversized washer on first, insert that through the, the lower, I know it looks upper but it's actually the lower, then the regular flat washer and then this cap. It's threaded on the inside. And then we'll place that, just screw this down hand tight, do not tighten this. It's going to just be a pilot. So I use a little bit of silicone to squirt on there just to make it a little slippery once we slide it in there and uh, use that as a pilot. 
Okay, I flipped the uh, the thing around here, and this is the the same right hand rail, but this is the the rear side or the the back portion of the of the rail. So the, the pieces that are required with this are this is where we had the frustration, and um, I've got to recommend a change here from uh, from what they said. But these are what came with the the kit. They're um, a Torx bolt. And they're fine and dandy in, in most applications for stuff like this. However, um, let this be known. Engineers who put things together. This was a mistake. This is what holds this rail to the truck. And uh, it needs to be tight. This is the wrench they give you. It's just a little uh, a, a, a wrench, a little Torx head wrench. Uh, and that's fine. I've got better tools but nothing this is the only one that will fit there is just no clearance in here and when this is you're upside down and you're trying to uh, to get this on it, it's just it's frustrating so I was like why couldn't they give something on it with like you could just get a wrench on it and so I got frustrated and I said okay I dug out my old bolt bucket and uh, so I'm going to be uh, replacing those I did the left side with something like this. This is actually an old bolt out of, I think it was an old Miata or something, uh, but it's got the same thread pattern, uh, but you can put a wrench on there. So anyway, so I'm using two of these instead of what uh, the supplied bolts. Now, the, what you've got to do is you take the, uh, you take the bolt, it goes through this hole and then you put a spacer on the back side and then a retaining washer. So we're going to put the bolt through, spacer, and a retaining washer. I like to just kind of mash that down. Okay. So I need to do that with both. And the instructions don't tell you that. They tell you to do one and then get everything fit. Um, well, I tried that and uh, of course it was almost impossible to do that so get them both just loosely in the in the position okay so I flipped this back around this is the front uh, I've spritzed this with some silicone it's time to lay this up on the rail use this as a guide and it slides right into the hole below where we put the jack nut Get these two started, just a little finger tight, and you can get a wrench on them. I promise you when you do this, you'll understand why these Torx bolts were a horrible idea. I'm just going to get these just a little bit snug. I don't want to tighten them down yet because what I want to do up front, we're going to put the bolt in where we have that jack nut. So this is just enough to hold this in place. Okay, so here I've got a flat washer in the bolt that was provided, and thank goodness it has a head on it that you can get a wrench on. And this just goes into this upper bracket hole. So we'll tighten that mostly by hand, and then we'll get the wrench on it. Crank that down nice and tight, and then we'll use a little Allen wrench for the lower one, and just get that one just kind of snug. So once you've got the front secured to the bulkhead, it's time to just take your little handy dandy gear ratchet like I've got or similar and just uh, tighten those up. Then the rails are on. Okay, so I've got the cover laying in the top of the bed. We're going to install the buckles right here and so what they sent they sent us these little threaded sleeves and little screws and then the buckle attachment here we'll do this on each end
You start by pushing the sleeve up from the, the bottom side. This is the top of the, of the deal. And you simply do that for both those holes and then put the screws in. Okay, so I've hoisted the, uh, the cover up onto the bed rails and uh, it's time to, uh, to fasten down this, um, this front piece. Uh, there's, a, there's some holes that I put an elevator bolt through. There's a couple of rubber washers, a metal washer, a lock washer, and a knob. The knob goes underneath. So basically the elevator bolt goes down the hole. Same on the other side. There's a bracket, you'll see it. It's got a big long slot for adjustability front to back, which you'll need. Do it on both sides and then these other washers and the knob get attached from underneath. It'll go rubber washer, metal washer, lock washer, and then knob. Okay, so now we've got both of the elevator bolts anchored uh, from below. They're not completely tight yet because if, uh, if we need to make an adjustment, uh, we want that to be loose so we can just kind of wiggle it around a little and get it just right to make sure everything is squared up. But uh, anyway, so this thing is on. So next thing to do is just kind of fold it down. There it is. Nice and smooth. Love that look. And it's just as easy to fold up. There's just some little wires right here. Just give it a little tug. It, it releases a a locking mechanism on both sides. Fold it up. Pull the wire there. Fold it up again. They also have these cool clips. These are the buckles that you installed earlier. They just latch here to keep this secure when you're driving down the highway. You don't want it flying open. So that's a pretty cool feature right there. There's some drain tubes that also are installed on the bottom. This Jeep has holes pre-drilled in the, uh, the bed, which was fantastic, so I didn't have to drill anything. Uh, very simple. So we'll show you the picture of that here in just a minute. This deal also folds up one more time, but it's liable to scratch the, scratch the window. So they've provided us with some... Uh, with three rubber things with adhesive tape that we can put to this. Okay, we don't want this to hit the window. So they've given us these rubber strips to put here. So we've got three of them. I'm gonna center one right along here. Oh, and that works perfectly. And I've got the other two, I'll, I'll put each one right here. Okay, you can see where I've installed both of the drain tubes that helps uh, water from accumulating in your bed. So those are very simple. Fortunately, this this Jeep had uh, holes already drilled uh, up there in the bulkhead. So it was very easy and they were perfect size uh, for these tubes. So uh, really glad to get those in. So there we are, it's all installed. Backflip MX-4 folding tonneau cover for the 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I gotta say this was not the most user-friendly installation. Most of the problems that I had were fighting their hardware. 
a couple of the uh, uh, two sets of different items should really be changed. Uh, it's a wonder the engineers didn't catch this, I guess, in one of their uh, quality checks, but they definitely need to change these bolts that, that attach the side rails, the rear ones. Uh, they should not be a Torx. They should be some kind of other bolt that you can actually get a wrench on. Uh, and then the, uh, the long elevator bolts in the front that attach to the bracket, those really could stand to be, you know, an eighth inch longer. It just, it was just very difficult getting all those pieces on there uh, to get it snugged up. So getting them started was the hard part. But uh, ultimately everything went together just fine. It's a very logical design. The instructions are fantastic. Uh, follow those. You shouldn't have any trouble at all uh, getting this thing installed on your Jeep. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really love that very much. So until next time, have fun, but be safe. And be sure and watch out for our motorcycle brothers and sisters out there on the road. Thanks again.